Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Jim here. The U.S. Army is in a transitional period before the next round of wars begin. In doing so, the Army has made it clear that it'll replace its legacy M249 SAW and the M4 Carbine with a lightweight and higher chamber pressure assault rifle. Now, the Army has selected a new high-tech assault rifle that can release a high rate of specialty designed bullets with as much chamber pressure as an M1A2 Abrams tank to pierce through the world's most advanced body armor. Now the LSAT, which is a lightweight small arms technologies, light machine gun, is a powerful weapon produced by the AAI Corporation, which is an aerospace and defense, defense development and manufacturing firm located in Hunt Valley, Maryland. Now Colonel Jeffrey A. Norman, a force development division chief at Army headquarters, told a uh, publication Task and Purpose the service plans on fueling a next-generation squad automatic rifle, which is an NGSAR, the first version in the Army's next generation's weapon system that chambers around between 6.5 millimeters and 6.8 millimeters as a potential replacement for its 80,000 M249 SAW starting in fiscal 2022 rather than the original target date of fiscal 2025. So they want to roll out these new higher powered lighter weapons uh, in 2022, basically, is what he's saying there, folks. Now, Norman said that the NGSAR will weigh less, shoot farther, and pack more punch than any of the military's existing small arms. And again, uh, be able to per, uh, penetrate uh, most body armor, folks. So it looks like there's a move to go lighter and more powerful, which obviously uh, would make perfect sense. Uh, there's much more on this, folks. I will leave you a link to it. I would ask you, please, to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please share it if you feel so led to. And please, folks, if you would, check out the links below the video to my fiction books on Amazon.com, available in Kindle and paperback. I think you'd really like those. There's a link to a free read of a chapter of my latest book, there's also a link to some music of mine and a link to a PayPal page if you want to buy me a cup of coffee or give me a tip, folks. I greatly appreciate you. I want to continue to remind you to not drink. Don't drink that Deception Berry Kool-Aid. And most of all, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you.